Savitri, page 239. A memory soft as grass and faint as sleep, the beauty and call receding sank behind like a sweet song heard fading far away upon the long high road to timelessness. Above was an ardent white tranquility. A musing spirit looked out on the walls and like a brilliant clampering of skies, passing through clarity to an unseen light, large lucent realms of mind from stillness shone. But first he met a silver gray expanse where day and night had wedded and were one. It was a tract of dim and shifting rays, parting life's sentient flow from thought's self-poise, a collision of uncertainties. There exercised uneasy government on a ground reserved for doubt and a reasoned guess. A rendezvous of knowledge with ignorance at its low extremity held a difficult sway. A mind that hardly saw and slowly found its nature to our earthly nature close and kin to our precarious mortal thought that looks from soil to sky and sky to soil but knows not the below nor the beyond. It only sensed itself on outward things. This was the first means of our slow ascent from the half conscience of the animal soul living in a crowded press of shaped events in a realm it cannot understand nor change. Only it sees and acts in a given scene and feels and joys and sorrows for a while. The ideas that drive the obscure embodied spirit along the roads of suffering and desire in a world that struggles to discover truth, found here their power to be a nature force. Here are devised the forms of an ignorant life that sees the empiric fact as settled law, labors for the hour and not for eternity, and trades its gains to meet the moment's call, the slow process of a material mind which serves the body it should rule and use, and needs to lean upon an erring sense was born in that luminous obscurity.